What it do gang, it's your boy Two Time Moto TV and we're back with another video. Today, we're gonna be changing a wheel bearing on the 2004 Crown Victoria on the driver's side. We have a full hub assembly here from AutoZone. It is Duralast. They also have them in Moogs, but they have to order them. So Duralast and Moogs are the two brands that you wanna go for anytime you're dealing with your Panther platform because they're pretty much plug and play. So we have a full hub assembly with the wheel bearing in the inside. The good thing about these cars is you don't have to pull a wheel bearing out and press another one in. You can do that if you like, but it's cheaper and better and quicker and faster just to go and get a full hub assembly here. Now, the reason why I'm changing mine is because this driver's side wheel, when you jack the car up, if you press it back and forth like that, the wheel has so much play back and forth side to side is fine because that's your steering pivot but your wheel isn't supposed to have that much play going back and forth like up to downwards so also i have a little bit of shaking in my steering wheel so i did take it to a guy he was going to align the vehicle for me but he said it'd just be a waste of money if we do an alignment now in this wheel bearing shot so other symptoms are roaring from your wheel when you're traveling down the road or if you just jack the car up, you spin the wheel, if you hear any kind of grinding in it, then you know that you have a wheel bearing shot or your wheel bearing is going bad. So, in order for me to get in alignment, I will be changing the wheel bearing, which is a full hub assembly on this 2004 Crown Victoria. So let's get started. So while I had a car jacked up on the driver's side, I'm just gonna show you guys the movement that I'm having uh, top to bottom. Hopefully the camera picks it up. So you guys seen how much play that this wheel had in it on the driver's side. I've changed the hub assembly on the passenger side last month. We also jacked the car up on that side and shook the wheel and it didn't have any play at all. So we know that this wheel bearing here is either going bad or it's shot already. So the first order of business, you need to jack your vehicle up. This is where I find to be the best, to jack it up underneath the front suspension that you're working on. You can also jack the vehicle up up underneath the frame here, which is another great area. And you're gonna wanna take your safety precautionaries and chalk your wheels. I have both wheels chalked and also use a set of jack stands put up underneath the vehicle just in case the vehicle wanna fall down on you. Remove your wheel and tire. Next, take your 14 millimeter, remove the two bolts, the top one and the bottom one you can see right there to remove your brake caliper. Take your 18 millimeter, remove the two bolts that's holding on your brake caliper bracket. Next, take your 15 millimeter. You have four bolts in total, holding your hub assembly in place. You have two here in the back. Also, you have two here. Just take your wrench. Remove all four bolts. All right, so we have the old hub assembly removed. This is the part here. Doesn't look that bad on the outside, but it's the inside that count. So we have the new part over here. We will be replacing it with that one. Uh, while you guys are underneath here and you have everything disassembled, you're just gonna wanna take a look at all of your bolts. Make sure that they're all tight. You also have your upper control arm bolt underneath here. You have your sway bar links. You're just going to want to make sure that nothing's leaking. You have your rack of pinion, outer tie rods. You have everything. 
Just gonna wanna make sure that all of your bolts and all of your fittings are tight. That nothing's worn. If it is, you might as well go ahead and replace it before you take your vehicle to go and get it aligned or before you take it down the road so that you can just have a peace of mind knowing that everything on the side that you touched is 100% good to go and you won't have to deal with it for a decent amount of time. A good trick you guys are gonna wanna do also when you're uh, dealing with suspension parts and bolts, uh, you don't want your bolts backing out due to vibration or just uh, suspension moving. So I have some high strength thread locker. This is the red. I just applied some to each bolt. And what this does, it will lock your bolts in place and won't allow them to back out. Now, you can back them out when you try to extract them again, but it's gonna be a little bit tougher to do so. But this is just to ensure that your rim and tire don't come off the car, your suspension don't fail on you, your bolts don't, um, you know, back out on you, or, you know, etc. So it's just that extra precaution, that extra peace of mind as well. Uh, just to know when dealing with suspension and bolts, you don't want to back it out on you and possibly being detrimental on the highway. So guys, to install your brand new hub assembly, what you're gonna wanna do, you're gonna wanna start one bolt first. You're gonna wanna maybe draw it in halfway, and then you're gonna wanna go across from that. So you wanna do the same thing that you would do to put a rim on a car. You're gonna wanna go across, start your other bolt maybe halfway. You're gonna wanna do the same for the one across from that, and then the one across from that. So when you're torquing them down, you're gonna wanna start with one, then you're gonna wanna go across to the other so that you can draw it in evenly. You don't want to cross threading. You don't want this to be all cocked and uh, then that'll just run into issues in the long run. But guys, we do have this new one installed. Don't have, hear any kind of noise. It's very solid. It doesn't have that up and down motion like the old one had. And the only thing you're gonna to wanna to do now is just reinstall everything. So you're just gonna do reverse order of process. The same way that you took the stuff off, you're just gonna re reverse that order and put everything back on here. So we're gonna start with uh, putting the rotor back on and then we're gonna assemble the brakes and then we'll be able to put the wheel back on the car. With everything back together, you're just gonna to wanna to reassure that every bolt is tightened. Uh, there have been plenty of times that I've missed something and put everything back together and I'd be like, oh shoot, I forgot to tighten this bolt. So you're just gonna wanna reassure that everything that you took apart, everything that you touched, you're just gonna wanna reassure that it is tight. And you can hand tighten it. Um, I like to kinda use a breaker bar to kinda torque it to make sure that everything is very much tight uh, compared to my strength. Because your strength might not be strong enough to tighten every bolt. Uh, so uh, definitely use some kind of assistance into tightening each bolt because this is dealing with your suspension, your brakes, etc. So reinstall the rim and you should be good to go. And that concludes this video. We got everything buttoned back up. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, be sure to subscribe, smash that like button, drop them comments if you got any further questions. Two Time Moto TV out and until next time, peace.